Hey everybody, this is the intro, and today I'm going to be showing you how to Mac filter. Um, so basically what Mac filtering is, if you don't know, is that you can put different Mac addresses, um, which are um, static assigned addresses that are given to your um, PCs by your router, and you can take these addresses and either whitelist them or blacklist them. So whitelisting them would be allowing different computers to connect to your network, and blacklisting would be um, making computers not able to connect to your network. Now when you blacklist an item, obviously I said it won't be able to connect to your network at all, so this could be used for people on your network that you're not sure that are on there, um, people on your network that you just don't want to be on your network at all, and you can, you can filter them so that they cannot connect. So the first thing you want to do is go to your command prompt, type in IP config, and if you have AT&T, you'll have a similar, similar screen like mine after we get done with this. But if you have something else, um, I would follow the steps and um, just sort of take uh, the tips and try to find and navigate what, your way around um, your router screen. Because this screen right here is going to be different for everybody else um, if you don't have AT&T. So what you're going to do is type in ipconfig on your command prompt. So if you didn't see that, you can go ahead and rewind it. But... And then you're going to want to see the default gateway at the bottom here. Mine's 192.168.1.254. So you're going to want to take that address, type it into your address bar. As you can see, I've already done that. And then just click enter. It'll bring you to a default page. And this is, like I said, the login for your router. And you'll have to log in with an uh, administrative uh, username and password. See, the username is just going to be admin a d i m i n so a d m i n and then the password is just password so you're going to want to log into that and then if you have at and tv like i said you'll have a similar page like mine but if not just follow along so you're going to want to go to your home network and go to mac filtering from there you can select either blacklist or whitelist and the whitelist is the allowing uh, networks to your connect to connect to your network and then blacklist is um, disabling network devices that are on your network or just blocking them for future um, preferences so go ahead and click blacklist here and you're thinking okay so how do I add the MAC address okay so everybody should have some sort of um, device list on their router login so you should be able to see every single device that's on your network. If they're named, the names will come up. So you're going to want to go to your home screen, try to find a, uh, a link that says device list or um, something similar. Click on that and then go down to your, um, go down through these. And each one of these is assigned the IP address and the MAC address. And like I said, the name will be right next to the IP address if there is a name for it. And make sure you have the computers that you for sure want to blacklist before you blacklist them because they will not be able to connect to the internet um, once blacklisted. So it'll tell you their connection type um, and the easiest way to do this is of course going to your um, command prompt searching IP config for each computer that you don't want to blacklist and finding the IP address for them. It'll say right here IPv4 address and um, you just want to take that down make sure you're not um, blacklisting the wrong item and what you want to do is for the device that you do want to blacklist just take this MAC address right here copy it go back to your home network go back to MAC filtering click blacklist down here in manual entry just paste the MAC address in there and then click add And now that'll that'll take a second to um, go through, but once it goes through, um, right here in your Mac filter list, it'll show up. See, it says Mac, and I'm under blacklist. So my blacklisted items are this Mac address, and you can add as many blacklisted items as you want which is great for uh, bigger networks or I mean just blocking people out that you do not want to be connected to your network another way of doing this is to whitelist which is to only allow Mac 
addresses that you want to connect to your network so this way you would go through every single computer that you have um, gaming system or anything and um, add it to add your MAC address of that device to the whitelist and by doing that you would only be allowing those devices to connect to your network and that's basically how you do Mac filtering so um, if you have any questions just post them below and I'll try to try to see if I can answer them but uh, thank you for watching and have a good day